Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo hunter run of this week's Prestige Nightfall, The Will of the Thousands. Quite glad this has finally become a nightfall. I actually thought this would be more challenging than what it was. Uh, but like most nightfalls, like more, nearly anything, once you learn the mechanics, you, you find ways to deal with each section. And this has very, very specific uh, mechanics to deal with. So I'm running Better Devils, Mananan and Darcy all master worked. I'm running Raid and Flux for my Arc Strider and my subclass is Top Tree and I have got Heavyweight and Arc Syndrome. So in this first section you've got a Yellow Bar Knight, you've got uh, one Orange Bar Sniper up to the right, two up to the left and the rest are just Acolytes. It basically takes three Darcy for the, for the, for the Shielded Knights, you've got two of those, not one, two. You've got one just round the corner and you've got one up at the back. It's three Darcy shots. If you just hover over the head, you're good. I would I would suggest taking the snipers out of the Darcy. It's a head shot from range. And then you can clear the rest up with your Manan. Make sure you've got your 23 rounds in your Darcy and move on to the next area. So while I'm doing that in the video, I want to just take just a second to speak about the Forsaken gameplay reveal trailer. I'm actually really, really uh, angry that Cade's dead. But I understand why I had to die. I'm not taking it personal. He's not my best friend. I, he's not a real person, I know. But I just can't believe that he, he's going to die. There is a reason why he's not going to come back. He's not going to come back. There are, there are reasons why a, a, an Exo can't be brought back. There's no Cade 7 coming. But I'm going to be release, releasing a video on Sunday. It's been a while since I've done a Destiny Diary. For anybody that's followed the channel, I used to do one every couple of weeks. Well, I kind of haven't done one in, a, in quite a while, but there's a lot to speak about. So watch out on Sunday for my Destiny Diary video, where we'll cover quite a bit of this. So you've cleared that first area, you're going to go into the next area. What you're going to deal with in here, in this incarnation, you're going to be dealing with a Shrieker. You're going to be dealing with a Yellow Bar Knight, which you'll deal with every time. You'll always deal with a Yellow Bar Knight. Four Acolytes up on the right. Then you'll get two waves of Thrall. A Yellow Bar Shielded Knight. Not not Energy Shielded. He'll actually have... He's one of the ones that actually carries a shield. I think exclusive to Warmind. And then you'll have a bunch of Acolytes that will be throwing their solar bombs at you. And a Shrieker. We've got a Shrieker in this one. It can either be a Shrieker or it can be a, an Ogre. So my suggestion is take as many of those those acolytes out from inside the, the ice cave as you can. Then take the yellow bar from inside the ice cave. It's a lot safer. Then you're going to get your waves of thrall. You can take them out with the better devils. The explosive damage, if they all bunch up, does big damage to, to anyone coming in. You have, I'm using my arc bolt grenade. Really good for, really good for groups of ads. Now, normally... I, he would never have got anywhere near me. I just let him get this, try to go for the second melee. I got a headshot, go for the second melee. I can hit me anywhere because he took massive damage from the first crit. So you've cleared out all those ads. You've got a heap of, quite a few acolytes down at the bottom. You can take them from up on the right hand side on that platform, higher ground, better, better, uh, better view, better field of. Uh, of sight you can also take the shrieker from up here so that's what i would do take all of those just be careful you don't go see the hive especially in war mind they, they they are they are prone to go and hide and then at the most inopportune moment that's when they'll start firing you so make sure you're always aware of your surroundings make sure you're always aware of how far you went down to the stairs you know you've got some acolytes that'll be firing bombs at you uh flame grenades on the right so don't encroach on one enemy if you know there's other enemies that can that, that will get a, they'll be able to get a bead on you from there it's just be mindful of your surroundings always so again you want to try and make sure you're always going in the next section it's just it's a habit of mine um you know you really have to you have to be aware of your ammo situation that, that's that's a big thing for me always be aware of your ammo situation I always try and go into the next area with full heavy you know, especially on the hive ones, because 
unlike a lot of the other nightfalls you can kind of stroll past the other nightfalls there's there's areas where you don't have to fight anybody not in the hive ones every area is a battle so these next two areas you can take the big ads out before you even get in so that's what i'm going to do in this 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 night can take he can be quite annoying but luckily this time he played ball in the next area the hive knight can be very annoying because and he is annoying in this video because the minute you hit him he'll do a pirouette off to the right which he's in cover then he'll put a wall up which means he's getting health back and he won't come back out till he shields it and and when you hit when you hit these hive knights as you'll see in the video i go behind this uh, digital keypad and it offers me just that bit of protection from his booming get a shot off he's gone and he will consistently do that from this range you just have to you just got to kind of wait until he pirouettes to the left and then he's he's got problems then but as soon as you hit him he's away to the right again i'm sure he was he must be on standby for strictly come dancing got to be with moves like that now as you can see i think i take him here but if he pirouettes it's something i didn't didn't actually notice that i was doing just switch to your, your energy weapon and take some of those acolytes out. Now, in this area, this is the first kind of, where I thought would be the first problem area because now it's wave defense. It's quite a small room with a sniper. Not ideal. But if you're clever about it, you can pop your super and take everything. So as I say, I've got arc bolt grenade. Once you, once you activate that, three shadow rifts are going to come. This one that I'm closest to is, is probably the most dangerous because it's exploders orange exploders so your art bolt will finish all of them you know and now all you've got you've got some wave of throw you've got some acolytes there'll be another shadow rift appear at the back left take out those and then what you're waiting on then is the last last shadow rift section which is where the yellow bars come from and when you know they're coming pop your super your gold you can take out all the major ads with your super and it will clear this room you know the next room the next rooms are kind of an open room so you can do everything from range and then the final room as you can see that i knew the shadow rifts were there so now i've popped my super i've got the the three acolytes which gives me the the damage boost straight away don't worry about don't worry about any ads getting you in in this room as long as you're in your super because the arc strider really can move so you can dodge a lot a lot of the, the shots and if you've got top tree the your melee attack gives you a health back as long as it's charged so that's why I, that that was my major major uh reason for going top tree of the super nothing nothing really to do with what the super was doing i wasn't really bothered about what the super was doing i knew it was, it's kind of strange the arc strider is is so good but what makes it so good is a chest plate. <laughs> Without the chest plate, it's a pretty average super. It doesn't last very long. But, I mean, I hope when they do the next exotic pass, like what they've done with the Lunar Factions, that some of the some of the armor pieces really, really, you know, improve the, the supers. So, once you've done that, you get your Valkyrie. Use one shot to activate the core and then go in. You've got three Shadow Rifts that appear. Acolytes to the left, center is exploders, acolytes to the right. You should have enough that you can throw a Valkyrie each and finish those. As you can see, I got the Shrieker at that. I think if you get the Shrieker in the first section, you'll get the Shrieker here as well. If you get the Ogre in the first section, you'll get the Ogre here. Two shots does it. The room again, it's a safe haven. Don't worry in this area about using uh, Darcy because you get so much heavy ammo here that you even if you even if you go dry even if you run out of ammo you'll get 23 shots here so this night he uh he thought i thought he was going to pose a problem till i hit that crit and then it it was a shame because one punch was all all, all it took the doorway you come out of if you feel like you're in trouble you can just run back in the doorway and like a lot of areas the only area it doesn't work in that I know of so far is the last area with the ogre. 
because if you go back in there it'll make you join your allies every other area and i think that's because it's you know it's a, it's a major section it's a darkness zone but every other area you can just go back into the doorway and that's as far as the ads will come so it provides you with a little bit of uh, a little bit of protection uh, security that you know you can go back there clear out these ads activate the the core and then i mean we're practically done now i mean it's a 17 minute nightfall and we're quite far through it we've got one more room i've got my super that now after after doing this a few times and finding you know different a uh, strategy for each section i've worked out on the hunter because of the close proximity of the enemies and stuff like that i didn't really want to go tether because i felt arc strider plays into my play style a bit better what you want to do as you can see get into this area clear those acolytes in front of you and throw a grenade at the ones at the back it's just less to deal with when you pop your super take out the knight and then go right straight away you'll have three orange bar acolytes pop your super take those with your super you've now got the additional damage buff make it over to the ogre your job now is not to survive your job now is to put take half his health off him and that will activate the next section you it's pretty difficult to survive here i actually should have went back and just went at the ogre again but i'm not too bothered because it's not a wipe it's a death wipe is where you get sent to orbit i have got that setting on but because this isn't i i'd already got to the next section we were out of the darkness zone it just spawns me right back in so once, once you've done that do not run out here with the valkyrie you will die instantly the ads just they go ham the minute you go out here so what i do is i stay in the doorway and I, I you do get hit i mean you do get hit as you can see i'm i'm nearly dead there i don't know what i don't know what i was thinking of that i decided to go back out and attack with no health but uh you can snipe from in here you do get quite a bit of heavy ammo on that ramp so i wouldn't worry too much about the, the your consumption of heavy ammo again this is another section but that you're going to get quite a bit of heavy because there's like three or four uh, orange bars but you don't really want you don't really want to to burn all your ammo here remember you've got an alt bolt grenade if you feel like you know if you feel like you can throw your alt bolt grenade better than i did there then feel free <laughs> and i'd be very surprised if you couldn't such a bad grenade I knew that there always seems to be a couple of enemies that will push to that door and just wait at the, at the right hand side and one of them is normally a yellow bar knight so take out your acolytes as i say that you're not really in any rush you know you're not in any rush here you know if, if you if you want to do it quickly i wanted a decent time because you know i felt like my titan run was really slow uh, comparatively and it, it proved to be the case because I think my Titan run was 26 minutes. This is 17, so it's, a, I mean, it's a nine minute difference. 24 minutes, seven, seven and a half minute difference, seven minute difference. Simply, simply the room with the ogre in where I decided to just suicide. Just get the ogre down and then get to the next section. On the Titan, I killed everything in that room. Whereas there's absolutely no need to do that. As you can see those yellow bar knights, I'll highlight that now. With the yellow bar knights, it's exactly the same as any other ad. As soon as you get your sight on the head, don't 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 just pull the trigger. Leave it for a split second to allow the PA, the personal assistant, which is the exotic, uh, the exotic. Uh, my mind just goes blank sometimes. Uh, the exotic perk. How can I not remember the word perk? What an idiot. Uh, it allows it to proc if you leave it for a second now the Ikelos sniper has the same thing it just takes longer but it doesn't do i don't think it does the four times damage it does extra damage but not the four times which is probably the reason i, I did i did think about using the Ikelos. i did and maybe i will on the wall up because i i'm not going to do rockets everybody's doing rockets i like to do something slightly different set myself apart i'm not I've always been, always tried to be a leader and not a follower. Come up with new stuff. Not make it more difficult, just diversity. 
diversity is what makes the world go round. So I'm not going to, I'm probably not even going to go Void Walker. Uh, a buddy of mine, Shablo uh, and Ezo have done great runs on the Void Walker. I'll take nothing away from their runs. Very classy, very, very skillful. But they've done that now. So now I have to do something different. Not because of any other reason than it's been done. I know it can be done with that. I'd like to see how the Dawnblade would, would actually work. Uh, so we'll, we'll, see, we'll, we'll see when it comes to the Warlock. So once you... The, the point is at the boss is you kind of really want to get as many crits in as possible. Now there will be two points where you can freely crit when he opens his mouth. So you get an open crit on him. Then he does two flame passes. Then an open crit then two flame passes. That's kind of uh, that's kind of what you're wanting. You want to get a hold of those times where he just kind of gapes his mouth open. 17 thou is what I was getting for a crit. If I'd have landed on my crits, he'd have a lot less health than he's got. Then you just go up to the pack, pop your super, take all the adds. If you've got the same amount of damage or even more than I had, you'll you'll start with wizards, and then you'll have then you'll get ogres. Uh, as you can see, I'm thread threading these shots through the eye of a needle. He's got very little left. I've no, I'm, I, I think now I've got the last wave of ads, which is four, four red bar shielded knights and three uh, major, major ogres, the orange ogres. I'm calling them majors. I don't even know if they are majors. They're definitely not ultras. Ultras are yellow. I always get stuck with that. I'm actually going to have to try and find out what that is. If anybody knows the difference between the orange and the yellow, leave it in a comment, please. Put me out of my misery. So, as you can see, Darcy, Darcy will take, take it's quite strange, they'll take the red bar shielded knights out with two shots. One for the shield. The shield just eats that shot a little bit. And then one for the head. They're just red. Ogres, two shots, and they're they're orange. It's kind of strange. The shield just eats that first shot. And as you can see, if you just linger your sniper on the head, just a split second, that's how you get the extra damage. Just let let it linger. So now, I I wasn't sure how many shots I'd have to put on the boss to finish him. Hence why I never reloaded. But it turned out, it wasn't many. I think it's three shots when he came back up, and that's him gone. And that is the Hunter Prestige solo. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I always enjoy uh, putting this content up. I always get excited when I put content up to see what you guys think of it and what you'll say. I'll probably try and do the Warlock one for Friday night, and then, as I say, Sunday I will get the, the latest installment of Destiny Diary up. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like. And I will see you in the next video.